All right, welcome to Man Kitchen Recipes. Tonight, I'm deep fat frying in the house. It's about 100 degrees outside. I don't want to do it out there, but I want to bring you some hot dog ideas. We're going to do some deep fried hot dogs. That's right, deep fried hot dogs on the bun. And some. Uh, when I was looking for up the deep fried hot dogs, I found octodogs. I'm like, well, what are deep fried octodogs? Well, I'll show you. They're pretty cool. And uh, I've got my oil heating up right there. So we'll be right back. I'll show you how I prepare these things. We'll deep fry them. I'll come back. And we'll do a taste test. Okay, so we're going to start with two hot dogs. This is for the octo dogs. We're going to do one hole. So just come about an inch and a half or so from the top. You want to slide it, sit down the center, turn it over, slice it again. So you got it in quarters. And then once you got it in quarters, you can kind of take each little leg and cut each quarter in half again. Doesn't, you don't have to be precise, just get them uh, cut through each one. And then once you get them all cut through just like this, you're going to have eight legs on that hot dog. <laughs> so for the next hot dog, I'm going to cut it in half and we're going to make some smaller ones. Again, cut it in half. Cut it in a quarter. I'm just going to turn these and cut them into eights. Just like this. <clears throat> okay. Cut them like that. And there you go. One more time. Pretty easy. Just like this. Eight legs. Okay. Now I'm going to make some onion petals. I'm going to cut these in little wedges like this and then separate the petals. Okay, and then we've got our petals like that. And now I'm going to make some batter. We're just going to use a cup of flour, teaspoon and a half of garlic, granulated garlic. I'm going to use a teaspoon and a half of salt. This is table salt, so it's all good. <laughs> and I've got some Trader Joe's sriracha seasoning, and I still have my little spoon there, a teaspoon and a half. And we're going to put three of those in here. And then, hey, I'm going to make this into a beer batter. And I'm going to use this uh, New Mexico uh, beer. It's a New Mexican style. It's a lighter beer. It's pretty good stuff. We're going to use this today. And you just want to pour some into your batter. Get that open. And uh, we're just going to pour in, I don't know, probably about a cup and mix it. It's still too thick. And just keep adding it until you get the right consistency. You want to be about about a consistency of uh, pancake batter. All right, and there you go. I'm going to throw all the onion petals in there. I know I'm going to get these all mixed in really well. Get them coated so they can sit there until they're ready to be uh, deep fried. Okay, and you know what? I'm going to add some Hatch green and red pepper flakes. I want to make these a little extra spicy. I'm putting in about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. Get that mixed in real well, then we'll uh, deep fry them later. But first, we're going to get uh, our oil. Check it. 350, 360. You want anywhere between 350, 370, somewhere in there. And I'm going to fry a couple of hot dogs. And once you get your hot dogs in there, you want to let them go for about two minutes. And after a couple of minutes, check them. They're looking really good, nice and crispy looking. I've got some Havarti cheese on my uh, hot dog bun. You want to add the deep fried hot dogs to it. Don't those look good? If you haven't had deep fried hot dogs, you've got to give these a try. So I'm going to move these to the side. <clears throat> Let that cheese melt a little bit. All right, now for the Octo dogs. We're going to do the whole one. We're going to get the whole one in there first. And you're just going to drop it in there. Be careful when you put that in there. And then I've got my little ones, the ones I cut in half and cut. We're just going to lay those in there. You don't want to put too many in at one time, but the legs will get uh, tangled up. All right, after a couple of minutes, give them a look. These look like they're uh, about done. Look, look at the legs all curled up, just like an octopus. Look at that, if I can get a hold of it. <laughs> okay, that's the whole one. That out of there. All right, now these smaller ones. Look at that. Now those came out looking more like an octopus. So, <clears throat> I don't know. You can do it either way. The whole or half. Half, you get more, obviously. Get these out of here. 
Now I'm going to lay my uh, onion petals, my extra spicy onion petals in here. And the same thing, you're going to go a couple of minutes until the batter is nice golden brown. You can flip them and move them around while they're cooking. And once they're nice and golden brown, we're going to take these out. Shake off some of the oil. Look at that. Don't those look good? All right. I'm going to dump these over here on my paper towels. I'm going to get the, the rest of these onion petals done up. Put them in, a, you know, one at a time. You don't want them to stick together. And there they are. Okay. And looky here. I've got some batter here, so I think I'm going to do something a little different. Yep, I'm going to grab me one of these fried, deep fried hot dogs. I'm going to batter it. <laughs> I'm going to get batter all over this hot dog, the entire hot dog, bun and all. Yeah, I did a smash burger before. Now I'm doing a hot dog. Get it nice and coated, just like this. All right. <laughs> okay, call me crazy, but here we go. I'm going to lay this hot dog in here like that be very careful if you do this now I'm gonna let this fry up probably a minute or two you want to let that batter just like on the onion petals you want to let it get a nice golden brown about a minute and a half two minutes later there you go look at that that batter is nice and golden brown and crispy and there you go deep fried entire hot dog deep fried regular just the hot dog itself and back here I've got the Octo dogs, the small ones, and the whole hot dog, and then the extra spicy onion petals. All right, that's it. Let's take All a right, taste. What do you think of that, huh? I got me a little mess back there, but I've got uh, I've got the uh, little octo dogs, deep fried octo dogs. One, uh, these are the ones that were cut in half. They actually came out a little better than the whole one, but you can do the whole ones. And then I did some uh, extra spicy onion petals. Uh, just for, not rings, just petals. I did a deep fried dog. I did two deep fried dogs and decided I had batter left over. I did a deep fried uh, smash burger. So why not do a deep fried hot dog? <laughs> All right. So, hey, let's take it. Let's take a taste test. All right. Let's go with the uh, octo dog first. All right. These are probably a little crunchy on the ends. Mmm. That was really good without dipping it in any sauce, but you could dip these in ketchup, mustard, whatever you like to dip your hot dog in, or it almost tastes like fried bologna, these legs. They are crunchy. Mmm, those are tasty. All right, okay. Octodogs. You got kids coming over? Make them some octodogs. They're gonna love them. I'm gonna actually make those next time I got the kids over. All right. Now I made these uh, onion petals and I just decided to add some sriracha and then uh, at the end I thought, you know what, I'm going to put some hatch green chili uh, uh, pepper flakes in there, in the batter, and here we go. Mmm. Well, they taste like onion rings. They're petals. Okay. Here comes a little bit of the kick, a little bit of the sriracha and the, the hatch green chili. Hmm. Very flavorful. Hmm. I'm gonna dip these in that. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna dip these in that Chipotle Ranch uh, sauce that I have. That's gonna be amazing. All right. Now, uh, most of the time when you think of a deep fried hot dog, you think of the hot dog itself being deep fried. So that is this here. Deep fried hot dog. Mustard dog is my favorite. You can put any toppings you want. I got a little piece of Havarti cheese on there. Mmm. Mmm. The deep fried hot dog. Ah. Oh, it just gives it extra flavor. Lots of flavor. So good. Just deep fry hot dog instead of roasting it on the barbecue on the grill. And of course. <laughs> yeah, I did it. I deep fried the whole thing. So, let's take a bite. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> oh my goodness. That takes the hot dog to a whole new level. Mmm. Man. 
And it's in that spicy uh, batter that I made. So good. Look at that. All right. <laughs> I hope to see you on the next video if this doesn't give me a heart attack. We got a uh, deep fried octo dogs, a deep fried hot dog, and deep fried onion petals. Spicy. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope you come back. You know I make some uh, out of the box stuff all the time. Tonight, it's fried hot dogs and fried onion rings, onion petals, spicy onion petals. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope you come back. Take care.